the water found on the moon seems to have given Israel's scientists a new spring in the stride. They are eager to go beyond the initial glory. The basic phenomena by which that water appears there and uh, how it can further lead to newer, uh, see for other objects when you go, how to get water and so on. And uh, this is going to be uh, a challenge. Uh, of course, now we have to explore how deep it is there, how much quantity we can pick up, and whether it is processable. All these are question marks. All this while vouching for lessons learned from Chandrayaan 1 mission. Chandrayaan 1 carried a fairly good number of instruments, uh, more than 11 instruments uh, carrying 16 detectors. And each one of the instruments and detectors have done exceptionally well this uh, as well as uh, during its tenure and 3-15 days. And we are given a fairly good amount of data to all the scientists are concerned. The Chandrayaan-1 mission had a strong international collaboration aspect and the landmark find of water on the moon also offers a shot in the arm for joint missions in the future. I believe science is international. There is nothing like Indian science or US science or you know European science. Uh, when we are doing basic science, we are trying to understand nature a little more. It is not an application-oriented science. So therefore, international cooperation is always good. The success of Chandrayaan-1 has catapulted the Indian scientific community into the forefront of research and moon. But the most interesting thing is that instead of giving answers, it's left the scientific community with more questions about the moon. Vijay Grover, NewsX, Bangalore.